In this lesson, now that we've talked a little bit about frames and what they are, we'll discuss editing and positioning frames. So we'll start out here with our blank document, and we'll take a look, a little closer look, at the rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, and the polygon tool. The easiest way to draw with the rectangle tool is just to click and drag, and you'll automatically create a frame. Now there are more precise ways to create frames. So in terms of drawing, if I were to want an exact square rather than a rectangle, I could hold the shift key while I draw, and that will keep the two sides proportional so that I draw a perfect square. The other thing I can do is I can click right on my screen and enter the exact dimensions that I want for my rectangle. So I could pick, say, two inches wide by three inches high, say OK, and a rectangle with exactly those dimensions will appear on my document. These same settings work for the ellipse tool and the polygon tool. So if I were to draw an ellipse with the ellipse tool, if I were to hold the shift key while I draw it, you can see if I let go of the shift key and press the shift key, it automatically switches to a perfect circle while I'm holding the shift key and then to the ellipse from my initial starting point if I let go of the shift key. So I'll hold the shift key to get a perfect circle. The other thing I could hold is the alt key on the PC or the option key on the Mac. That allows me to draw me that allows me to draw from the center of my object rather than from the top corner of my object. So if I'm holding that alt or option key, I'm drawing from the center outwards. The other thing I can do with the ellipse tool is click right on the desktop and again enter my dimensions directly. That click is especially useful for the polygon tool because even though the default is set to a hexagon, I may want a different size of polygon. So if I click, I can enter both the width and height and also the number of sides that I want in my polygon. So if I want to create a two inch by two inch polygon, I could choose to give it 20 sides or if I want a triangle, I can choose to give it three sides. The other option that InDesign gives you is a star inset that allows you to create a star shape. So for example, let's say I go back to my hexagon. If I entered a star inset of 25%, then when I hit OK, you'll see that I actually get a star shape. 